hi so I just needed to give a little message about something that I've been not needing to talk about um, from the ball mom here you can see ball mom uh, that means that I not only have a softball player but I also have a baseball player so needless to say we've been to lots of games and I know both games very well I also have extensive softball experience as I played softball summer league until I was 14 years old it's just nice that finally the coach is recognizing that I have quite the extensive background in softball like when he asks so do you think you're qualified to make those calls or to give your opinions about this yes I do thanks for recognizing that I do have a extensive softball background um, but he does seems to not have an extensive softball background and he is failing to recognize the best player on the team my daughter so things like putting her fifth in the batting order what is that all about she should be batting first you're putting her fifth might as well be last that's towards the bottom what do you mean there's 17 kids that's still towards the bottom fifth she should be batting first she's the best one on the team then he does things like putting her fifth and then you tell me, oh, it's not like she's crushed it to the outfield. Well, how is she supposed to crush the ball when you've crushed her self-esteem? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she did crush the ball. She crushed the ball the last game. And you know what? The player that got it off third was lucky. Got the ball. Lucky they didn't take their hand off because it was such a hard hit. And she, sweet little angel, was running to first. Made it there safe and the ump calls her out. Did you even say anything to the ump? No, you just stood there. What happened to Ty goes to the runner? Oh, and then did you did you want to stick up for her? No, you didn't. You just let it go. Hello? Uh, you could have done instant video replay. I had it on my phone. I videotaped it. You could have had a video call. Um, I'd be happy to show it to you. What do you mean? It, it doesn't matter if they have different uniforms than the team they're playing tonight. Uh, it's the same color. No, it's not. Have you ever heard of the gold dress, blue dress? Come on, people see things differently with their eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, but you didn't fail to charge the mound when she was pitching. Oh yeah, pitching strikes. Sweet little angel out there on the mound, pitching strike after strike. The ump, again, I think it's one-sided, calling them all balls, walk after walk. Oh, but you run out there after she's hit three girls and take her off the mound. What do you mean that's a rule? I paid nearly $300 for all of this getup that they have to wear, face masks and padding and bubble wrap, everything underneath the sun that they have to put on underneath their uniform. You're telling me they can't handle a ball to the back or to the head? They're wearing a helmet for goodness sakes. I didn't see any stretchers taking any girls off the field. Oh, but you charge that mound out there and take her and put her on the bench. Now she's sitting on the bench, your best player. I'll tell you who's gonna be benched. It's gonna be you, coach, because you're gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight. There is no room for you in my bed, no siree. Maybe after a few cold cereals for dinner, then you're gonna understand who your best player is. Straight from Ball Mom. There you go.